Spencer Torkelson at third base. They they got a dandy at him. He, he's going to be around. He can flat out hit. I want to be the best. So to be the best, you got to work on absolutely everything. Look at the load. Look at how nice and smooth he looks. Do you love his swing, though? Oh, it's it's just a thing of beauty. Just watching this guy take batting practice is so fun. You know, I, I got one thing to say about this kid. The power and the, the bat is legit. Mm -hmm. And I just don't understand. I know they want to see if he can play some third base, but why waste your time? You know, Miguel Cabrera's going to DH, and, and he's not going to play much first base, but this guy's a really good first baseman. And from a guy who defended from my career to really get to the big leagues, I'd rather have a better first baseman than a better third baseman. He makes your whole infield really? better. And so for this kid who's already a good defender at first, that's hard to find. You don't find a lot of first basemen that are agile, can move, pick, do all those things. He can improve their defense. So just leave him alone. Let him hit and play first. I don't get it. Jim Callis, what you got, buddy? Well, we're going to agree on the bat. Rare agreement on this show. I, I think it's a special combination of hitting ability, power, and patience. That's why evaluators were saying he was the best offensive player to count on the draft in two decades. I don't have a problem with trying him at third. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Ultimately, it's not going to matter. This guy's going to be a superstar wherever he plays because the bat is that good.